This video is for demonstration purpose only and it should not be used for self-practice or any other commercial purpose. Classical Pilates is best learned by working with a teacher who has been extensively certified in the Classical Pilates repertoire from a reputed school. In this video, I am going to take you through the supine arm searing exercise that we do on the Cadillac. Supine means lying down on your back. Uh, so there are there is a sequence uh, of the supine arm series uh, there are three to four movements that we do um, which teaches many things about the body as well as how to uh, change things that we are more used to like i have seen most of my cl uh, male clients have a tendency to just pop their chest for anything and everything now this uh, supine arm searing uh, teaches or gives them the knowledge of not to do that thing while doing any of the activity. I'm going to use some props while doing the supine arm spinning. The first one is a neck pillow. So it is a curved shaped pillow which uh, follows the curvature of the neck. And if you have clients who have some sort of uh, bad neck or who have the forward neck posture, uh, this really helps. And I'm also going to use a cushion. Uh, this is uh, to bring some connection to the inner thighs as we all, uh, many of us have very weak inner thighs. So this uh, helps activate the inner thighs while doing this exercise. Now, as I said, supine means lying down on the back. We are going to lie down on the back. And I'm going to start with a very, very basic form of this exercise. So the knees will be bent. And just for demonstration, I'm going to use the neck pillow under my head. Right, and I'm going to place the cushion between my inner thighs and squeeze them very hard to keep my inner thighs activated. Now from here, the first movement is just lift the hands up, okay? And without uh, the hold is, uh, the wrist hold is, the wrist is long, the ha handle is parallel to the floor and without forcing it with the arm strength, think about the hands are coming from all the way down on the back Imagine moving the hands from all the way down on the back to lower the hands down fully without popping the chest. I'm going to do this couple of times more. And last one. Now once I have done this, I'm going to bend my forearm to a point where the wrist is just above the elbow. And from here, I'm going to just straighten my forearm by pressing my hands into the handle. I'm, I'm not doing anything by applying any force or any strength. I'm just using the upper arm, upper part of my arm to straighten my forearm. Something like this without popping my chest or doing anything else. Now once the arm, forearm is straight from here, from the back, I'm going to do some tiny, tiny three little circles. And all the time I'm pressing my hands into the handle so that the springs are engaged. So this is like uh, you're going, you're teaching a client for the first time what this so the supine arm searings is all about. So this is uh, the right way to start or one of the way to start. There are many right ways, but this is one of the way to start. Once the client has got some experience, the next thing is we're going to slide down further. So as you start moving away from the springs, the harder it gets. And just float the hands up, keep the shoulder blades down, squeezed connected to the Cadillac bed and then equally. So that uh, uh, some of us have the tendency to move one hand before the other. Uh, so so this, this, this also helps address those imbalances by pressing both the hands equally. I'm going to lower my palms down fully without popping my chest and then just float my hands up, still pressing my hands into the handle. I'll just do this couple of times more. And once I'm down there, I'm just going to bend my forearm using my upper arm and then straighten. I'm working, my triceps are getting all the work here. And from here, I'm just going to draw tiny, tiny little circles from the back. And last one. Now, once I have become comfortable with this, the next thing is just to straighten my legs. So once I straighten my legs, it becomes a little bit more harder. And I'm going to just press the hands down and then just float them up. Nothing changes. My rib cage and my chest remains level with my core. A couple of times more like this. And then I just bend my forearm and my, straighten my forearm. And then I do the circle. 
and if I want to make this harder, I slide all the way down. Now the springs are going to pull me back very badly. My goal has to be to not allow the springs to bully me, but use the form and control of my entire body to lower the hands down. Now see, it's so difficult. I, I myself am finding it very challenging to do this. And then just float the hands up. Just a couple of times more. And my entire body is getting the workout, even though this is called supine arm spearing, it is still a full body exercise. And from here, I'm just going to bend my forearm and then straighten. And then I'm going to do the circles. And that's a lot of hard work. So this was a demonstration of the supine arm spring series exercises that we do on the Cadillac. As, as you saw, um, the exercise can be started in a very small way. And then when it, is, when it goes to its full form, it, it, it actually is a very tough exercise to do. Thank you for watching this tutorial or this video on supine arm spring series on the Cadillac.